Uh, we're here today to look at KRK Ergo, which is a room analysis, room correction system. So the way Ergo works is it sits between your computer and your speakers and corrects for a room. Um, on Ergo, we have two sets of speaker outputs, A and B. We also have two sets of inputs, a digital input and an analog input, and we have a uh, headphone volume control. So the way Ergo works is you plug it in via FireWire, and the FireWire is so that Ergo can communicate with its test and measurement software. And we'll go ahead and do a quick measurement here, or at least beginnings of one. So Ergo's ready to measure my system. It asks me to make sure my speakers and my microphone are plugged in, so I'm going to say yes they are. It asks, me some, it asks me if I'm using Ergo in subwoofer mode. Subwoofer mode is we can plug subwoofers directly into Ergo instead of a second pair of speakers, um, and Ergo will handle the digital crossover and the subwoofer uh, issues. So we're not going to use subwoofer mode. It says both buttons are off. We have to choose an A or a B correction. So we'll correct for my A speakers, which are my uh, KRK exposés. Uh, a is selected. Let's press Enter. We'll overwrite my existing A measurement. Let's go ahead and overwrite that. Calibrate button's per currently off, so I need to tell Ergo it's going to go into calibrate mode, so I just reach behind and push my calibrate button. Calibrate button is on, press enter to continue. The volume's too low, so it's all the way down here, so Ergo's saying I won't be able to listen to my speakers. So I'm gonna keep raising it up. Nope, oh, volume too high. Volume okay, press enter to continue. Place microphone in the focus position. The focus position is our mix position. So that's about where my head's going to go when we do the mixing. So microphone's in the mix position. Press enter to continue. That sound you're hearing is called a multitone. It's a bunch of distinct frequencies all played together. It sounds like a big church organ. Um, the reason we use multitones is because what we're trying to do is excite the room into its badness. So as we turn up these multitones, you'll start to hear the room vibrate a little bit. So those multitones are exciting the nodes in the room, and Ergo's listening to those nodes. And so that's our first position, our focus position. Each position takes between 45 seconds and 3 minutes to, cal to calculate. So we excite the room to a steady state, then we um, measure it and see what's going on. When we, finish, when we finish that measurement, the next thing we're going to do is take our room position one measurement. So for room position one, we're going to take this microphone, point it anywhere in the room, as long as it's random. So we're going to take another three to five measurements, pointing in here, pointing up towards the corners of the room, pointing over there. We want each measurement to be about three feet or one meter apart. So as we get more and more measurements, our room knowledge, or what we know about the room, increases. So when we have room knowledge greater than 90%, we now know that Ergo is ready to do its calculate its filters and to do its correction. Now Ergo will process a filter that has 1,024 points of equalization. So we can correct really minute details in the, in the room as we, as we detect them. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And we're going to go ahead and get Ergo back up. So we've done our calibration, moved the microphone four or five times, have our room knowledge over 90%, Ergo calculates its filter, and then it starts using it. So I said earlier that Ergo is plugged in via FireWire for its measurement. This Ergo over here is not plugged into FireWire. Ergo can work in a pure standalone analog input or digital input mode. So once the, once the calibration is done, you don't need the computer. So Ergo takes no CPU cycles, does nothing. So I have my B outputs here going to this Ergo in analog inputs, and these analog outputs going into these Rocket 5 speakers. So. Uh, Play some music. So right now what I'm doing is I've got the analog signal, my B, is going into this circle over here. And these are P5s. So this is Ergo playing music in corrected mode. And then I'll go ahead and disable Ergo. And from the mix position here, all of a sudden it gets muddier and goes boom, boom, boom. You hear that. So that muddiness, if you were to try to mix with that muddiness, you'd dial those frequencies out on the EQ. And then when you went and played 
that track in another room, it would sound thin. You'd say, where'd all my bottom end go? Well, you EQ'd it out because the room was causing those frequencies to build up. So with Ergo, when you mix a track, it's going to sound the way the producer intended it to sound, nice and smooth and, and well dialed in. Um, without Ergo, you're going to put in or take out things that really you don't want to be doing. Um, so in addition, as I said, in addition to Ergo being a room correction analysis system, uh, it's also a speaker switcher. So my B's are my little rockets. My A's are my exposés. Uh, it's also a headphone amplifier. You can hear the headphones down there. Very loud headphone amplifier. Um, each of the streams, each of the firewire streams, if you're using Ergo as a recording device, each of the firewire streams is, or each of the outputs is a separate firewire stream. Separate ASIO stream, you have your A stream, your B stream, and your headphones, all separate. Um, it's also a four input device, so digital input or analog input. Uh, Ergo retails for $599, we'll be shipping in April.